Don't you want to go, Elite? Don't you want to go, Elite? Just do... No? Do you want... No? Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 fair enough. Okay. We are live. Easy fella. My face is live. Show's not started yet guys. Schedule is for 1400. This is Big Jet TV Farnborough International Air Show 2018. Positioned right on the fence line here. Planes are just going into position. Got a... Stand back JB. Casey. Stand back over here. Casey. Right, we'll take that then. KC 390 on the taxiway. You can speak up, man. Got a uh, C130. No, nah, it's all good because this microphone's right next to my mouth. C130, 727, and a 787. Now, can't get this flying schedule up. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay, let's just do a piece of camera. Let's just put, do a piece of camera because that wasn't kind of the. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Here we go then. Here we go. That's all good. That's all good. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. 240 in the house already. Well, hello everybody, welcome. Uh, we are at Farnborough International. Sun's not shining, but it's very exciting. Oh, well, uh, mind that. Um, it's a good job that the sun isn't shining, it has to be oh, said, Johnny, because it's boiling. actually very, very humid yes. uh, and warm here. Yes, indeed. Uh, now, it's, it's Wednesday, Jerry. It's mm -hmm. still trade show day today. Yeah. But if people are watching this thinking, I might pop down, how can I get here on Friday and Saturday and Sunday? Well, Farnborough, fantastically easy to get through. Uh, get to. M3 is uh, your main motorway to get to here, and then just literally come off the M3 follow the signs to Airshow 
and that will take you there. There is a huge parking lot uh, very close by, actually walking distance. Free shuttle buses will get you here. Um, so, and there's multiple entrances as well. So, and tickets still available to purchase right now on the Farnborough website? 100%, 100%. Um, just go to the Farnborough whatever it is website. Just search Farnborough Air Show uh, in your um, Google search engine and uh, that'll take you there and you'll be able to get yourself some tickets. Uh, families come here for the Saturday and Sunday shows are the, are the main flying days yeah. in terms of in terms of the, the, the big days for the yeah. for the public. And I've got to say it is pretty incredible right now. If you look down there to the left, I know you can't we'll show you guys in a minute, you've got all the 747 8s lined up, all these detective aircraft. Yeah. And we've just come back from the food stand, uh, non-aviation, it is incredible. The the, the food on on uh, on offer is incredible. Yeah, so huge variety. If you come down the weekend, guys, it's all here. It's all here. Yeah, we're we're uh, they're actually getting into position now because we've been here for the last three days, guys. Um, actually, actually featuring that aircraft that you can see right behind us, the E190 E2, brand spanking new from the guys at Embraer. Very successful. I think they signed up 25 of the 175 uh, variant with uh, United. Yes, they did. And uh, like Johnny was saying, just saying they've got a huge cargo village down here. Uh, um, we've got Cargologic 747-8, their uh, Volga Dnepr AN124 as well, doing huge displays. Um, our friend Matt Morland's down there uh, doing displays. Uh, they're loading engines, they're loading stuff into the front of the aircraft. Um, so if you come down here on the weekend, get yourselves over to the Cargo Village uh, for some fantastic displays down there. And of course, Qatar have got their beautiful Dash 8 747 down here as well. So lots to see down in the cargo village and down it doesn't there. stop there jerry you've got coming over here bombardier yes. got a huge stand yeah you've got a, a brand new bombardier crj as well the elongated version you've got catars 350 EasyJet's got their 320neo in here as well yeah uh, what else are they another the over there we've got yes the, uh, other antonov yeah, the qatar 350 uh, we've got the a330 the right neo johnny is that here today yeah tap a330 neo sitting over there and there's one thing um, else i forgot right what it is there. Uh, there is something to the right of it there is a, the A220. Yeah, the A220. The now, A220. guys, we can say it, you know, we can say it, it's still fresh, literally so fresh that they've had to put a sticker yes. over CS300. Yes. Uh, Mind so, you, though, A220 is starting to sit quite quick. CS300 sounds old now, doesn't it? Does it does work. It does work. And, and, and what's even more interesting is that it works in the, in the livery. Of Indeed. Airbus, yeah, it looks beautiful. You know, it looks, it looks fantastic. I yeah. mean, it's got the, uh, it's, it's got that distinctive sort of like um, um, squashed sort of like APU, yes, uh, as opposed to the rounded APU on, on as, as is commonly seen on Airbus. But wow, Jeff Anderson, that 330 Neo was in Atlanta last week. Wow, That's what TAP? Crazy. Uh, well, I don't know. Because well, they did have a V330 uh, over Neo. the last couple of days. We have had a um, a. Uh, a330 Neo in the Airbus yes. livery, Which went as we back have last got night, didn't it? A350 1000 Bigfoot sitting over there. Um, the, the test bed. The type Neo aircraft. went back to Toulouse last night. Yeah, right? Neo went back to Toulouse last night. As did yeah. the um, uh, Air Baltic A220. Yeah, very, funny enough, very, very, very. Which was very interesting. Yeah, I'll tell you what's a great display that we're going to see here today. Um, why have I got Jilly on there? Um, the, the one thing that we're going to have uh, is that 727 uh, oil dispersal. Uh, something yes. that we don't see very often and well, oil, will... oil rescue um, doesn't actually disperse oil does it I think it... no 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 oil dispersal as in like it drops chemicals yes. to disperse the oil I was going to say when we saw it yesterday yeah. there it was dropping it uh, was probably dropping... water it was water it was crazy. But, but that would be normally chemicals which would disperse the oil it was absolutely or break the, insane break the oil down yes yes yeah. indeed yeah. and indeed. it's got, a, it's got a, a flying display with those guys like the blades isn't yes. it next to them yes so... exactly that is, that is, that is right, I think that's right yeah. at the tail end isn't it Right at the tail end, and uh, forgive the pun, uh, but it is a beautiful aircraft to see, and we'll hear us starting up as well. A few people the request that one. Now, I think what's probably going to be the most dramatic moment of the day is when that Dreamliner takes off. It is a near vertical takeoff. Yep. Literally, you're talking yep. like, I don't know, 40 degree climb, something like that. It's yeah. absolutely it's so mental. impressive, man. And then it goes up into that sort of like, you know, 
that store, that typical sort of like you know air display. Uh, We've all seen it. We're like, but when you, you know, see it like in real life, it. it's yeah. <laughs> and we'll get some close-up action for you there as well, guys. And of course, got 737 Max over the back there. Yeah, uh, kind of common now. We're already seeing it. Um, and this is only the little 700, isn't it? Uh, this is the 737 Max 7. So yeah, yeah the smaller, shorter one. Uh, it looks insane in with the, the leap engine on it. The leap um, engine on it as so well. So Hercules over there being towed into position. That's another unbelievable display. As yeah. is the A400M, yeah. which is yeah. parked up I'll just over what, there. I tell you what, actually, in terms of age, John. I tell you what, if you, of course, it's in terms of age, from what we're talking about here, do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, in terms of age, um, that Hercules has got to be uh, one of the most impressive displays. There she is. So we'll just. Should we have a little run through, Johnny? Do it. Um, now, um, uh, we all have our own uh, opinion on um, on uh, parachute displays. <laughs> uh, you know, as a kid, you love it and all that. It's very impressive squinting. and all that sort of thing. But uh, we do have the Tekava or Tekava AR4 um, going out first. I'm not absolutely sure, and I'm sure that a lot of people will update us on that but uh, exactly what that is i'm not sure um the dornier three dornier 328 will be taking off um which will be um which will have the parachute that she's fired up already Blades on, Jerry. Blades yeah on. so that will have the parachute display team on board not sure which parachute display team but i'm sure they're all very brave men and women indeed after that we've got the um boeing if you want to zoom over there jb the um, Dreamliner with Biman Bangladesh Airlines uh, right up opposite us here. Um, she's looking very smart in her colours. Obviously, coming from um, as a, as as still a, a, a I wouldn't say a test aircraft, but uh, obviously Biman have uh, donated that. Do we have a reg on it? Well, have a look. I don't see one. But what is interesting is that, that is China Southern have still got the 787 uh, 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 livery on it, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, I love um, the 787 livery. I think it yeah. adds just so much to the livery in general. After the 787 Dreamliner, um, we will have, and that's only a Dash 8, isn't it? Dash 8, yeah. Uh, after that, we will have the 737 Max in the full Boeing uh, test colours, which is great to see. Dornier Solo display, that will be the parachute aircraft yeah. that now, after having dropped his load, uh, will come out and do a display for us as well. Airbus A350 after that. Another very impressive display, Johnny. Um, there she is sitting over there. There's one particular thing that's so unbelievably impressive with this display that the other aircraft don't do. This will come in at a close to stool speed. Yes. And then right in front power of us, you're going to get yeah. that power up. It's yeah. going to be yeah. loud. It's going to be intense. And, 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 and interestingly enough, even those XWBs being as new as they are, they smoke. Uh, because he's actually, you know, laying it, mm. going through the gate with the power. throttles, literally power, going yeah. through the gate. Um, T129 attack. Now I believe that's that helicopter. Uh, that is, uh, and that's and there. that's over there. We can't see it no, right now, guys. Now. Oh, you, no, 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 you can't even gone. pick her tail up. So she was parked here a little while ago, but uh, we will see her. And it's a very, imp very impressive display, Johnny. Yes, isn't it? And it will be right in front of us. It's, um, if those of you who tuned into our Berlin Air Show, uh, I think it was there as well. You would have noticed. So we're talking like almost loops, yeah, spins, yeah. All the lot, all yeah, the lot. Real proper, proper display. Uh, Embraer KC390. Now that's uh, a lot of people, not a lot of people are actually um, uh, aware that uh, Embraer um, build military aircraft. have got a yeah. huge military program, have done for many, many years, uh, the guys at Embraer. She was sitting right here behind us um, a short while ago. She's now being towed over and uh, we'll catch her being towed into position at some point in time. After the KC KC390 is the Mitsubishi MRJ. Uh, we'll see that di being displayed as well. Did you see that yesterday? No, now that's a, the MRJ. I believe is a is it a bizjet or is it is it the um, um, MRJ? Is it the? I think it's sort of like. A, Oh, we didn't see it yesterday, so I'm not actually yeah, sure. Yeah, she was parked up by the Embraer stand, I seem to remember. But anyway, um, then we've got a helicopter de departure slot. So obviously uh, a number of there, business guys uh, headed out um, whilst they get the opportunity. Now, we have been told by um, one of our members, um, uh, David, uh, who has told us that apparently the F-16 uh, went tech yesterday. Uh, they've flown in spares and uh, we're not 100% sure 
if she's going to be flying today, which would be a great shame if she's not. Um, but one thing we did hear her go out, didn't we, Johnny? She's not in the schedule for today, is she? So yeah, she is. Yeah. Oh, she is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, F sixteen. Oh, well, there's a good yeah. good chance that that's the because case. That they out this morning. Exactly. Yes. Um, the Airbus A four hundred M. Wow, another oh, fantastic dude. display. Again, another aircraft that yeah. we saw at ILA Berlin, um, but, but we didn't time, see it flying. This time. We only saw her going over the top of us in that uh, yes, fly pass. you're right, you're right. We actually didn't see her display from memory. If you want to so, see something dramatic, yeah. shoot in for the A400. It's and she incredible. does a beautiful reverse as well, as does the uh, Hercules, because uh, the C130. They do uh, a reverser up the runway. Yes, they do. Yes, um, they do which is which is part of their program and has been for many years. Even since when I was a kid, I, I used to come and watch the displays. They used to reverse up the runway, but uh, you don't get the uh, jump jet Harrier doing a reverse anymore. Wow, well, they were the days, eh? Uh, blades and 727 takeoff. So indeed, it is the blades. Uh, four aircraft in that formation, and the 727 uh, that's parked over there. The oil. Um, dispersal uh, aircraft. Um, do you want to get another shot in of that 727 then? I did just doing some uh, go work from on it. That okay. To that, yep. So I won't go the, to after that, we've got the Lockheed Martin LM100J. Um, not sure Where's which. Gone? Oh, there it is. That is the. Oh, there she is. Yeah, yeah. Th there it is. Yep, yep. Um, and then we have got another seven, uh, another 727. Uh, that's interesting. Oh no, the blades. Sorry, 727 takeoff. And then the 727 with the blades flying alongside her um, will be flying right past us. Uh, blades lands, and the 727 lands, and that will be it. Yeah. So um, let's. Um, what should we? Uh, we can't really clip that out. Let's just see. Um, should we just do a little test, Johnny, and see? Um, let's just do a little piece of the camera again. You out? Oh, why not? Yeah. Took a bit of time to figure out. I'll try and there was something and actually stinger, landed on you. Stinger was going down there. That's crazy. So have we got Probably the? Uh, have we got the? Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's just go. No, 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 no. I wanted to do a test to see whether or not we need to take that out. Oh, just grab that. Because <laughs> I don't think we do. I mean, it's a good mic. We should. Uh... Oh, I'm zoomed in. No. Okay. Okay. So right behind us, there, guys. Uh, you can see that fantastic Embraer E190 E2. Um, do we have audio? Hunter, the Let, yes, hunter. the Profit Hunter. Unbelievable. Yeah, some, some, some fantastic. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So this, fortunately for us, well, I'm going to get on it, Jay, because he's going to be he's going to be going out pulling forward. Oh, okay. I think though, I'll that, grab that. I think the audio would have been fine though. Yeah, I reckon. Okay, let's just have a little look. But you uh, want it on the so other we side. have got 60 minutes um, of free view, guys. 60 minutes of free view, and then we're going to be headed over to the Elite Channel. If you want to become an Elite member and watch the rest of the show, the full show program, as well as everything else that we do at Big Jet TV, uh, just get yourselves over to BigJet.TV, and uh, that will uh, then then head to the Elite membership tab. Uh, and then you can grab yourself some elite membership. And of course, Jerry, brand new, unbelievably high quality player. We're on now the new player, Stay Live. That's pretty good step up, step up for our elite members right now. Yeah, and it is uh, exclusive to our elite members. Uh, we will be switching to that uh, for the elite show as well. They will get the opportunity to do either. Uh, I've got a rewind and replay uh, option on it as it well. It is unbelievable, and it's so slick as well. Unlike Facebook, where you're within the Facebook app, you have your own private uh, web page, Stay Live, where you've got the comments underneath, and of course the ability to put up emoticons, I think, coming soon. Yeah, emoticons coming soon, and a uh, big shout out to Benny and Jilly for uh, doing such a fan fantastic job help helping us out on that. That's gonna, okay, um, I'm gonna have to quickly just do this, I'll show you. Just spin it around like that. Shit. Okay. Ten past two, Jerry. Yep. That's not Any too moment bad. now. So go share, everybody. Get sharing. His lights are on. He's loaded up. I cannot think that we should really. This. No, no, no. Put it on here. Oh, that's interesting. 
What's that? That's, I think the displays have already started. Hey, where's that come from? I have no idea. Someone's catching it. Is that a drone, perhaps, that has... It uh, is indeed a drone, yes. Something's starting up. Yeah. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, here we go. Now, do we have a clean shot, or do we yeah. have someone's head in We are. We are actually okay. just about all right. Yeah. For now. <laughs> For now. Yeah. Do you want to well, grab this one? No, no, you're all right, man, you're all right. Probably the most... Uh, Just so let's do some shout outs. Um, Anne Dickinson asking where we are. We're at Farnborough International, Anne. Live from Farnborough International. International. Welcome, everybody. Harmic Viscanian, Paul Hogan, Jeff Anderson, Stuart Molly is watching. Malloy, sorry. Here he goes. At Fluid, Kaniko Ishii's in the house, as per everybody, 429 people. Now, share to everybody, guys. The flying display starts now and it is non stop right the way through. So he'll take a bit of time to uh, get himself in a position. I think a couple of. Uh, Somebody asking us, uh, Jacques Luz is asking us to show the Embraer, uh, the 190E2 that's behind us, JB. So when that one uh, sort okay, of like okay. goes out of shot, we just sit around and uh, <laughs> just get a little shot of that fantastic uh, aircraft. Obviously, the um, Pratt and Whitney. PW 1900Gs on that aircraft. Yeah, all yeah. new engines, all new wings, extended wings. As we were discussing back. yesterday, those engines, I can't believe this fact, I still can't believe it. 1,500 times quieter than the previous model. I mean, <laughs> just makes it better all round for, in terms of flying to any airfield, you know, that has yeah. noise restrictions. Exactly. Yeah, you, know, you can even fly that in at like three in the morning and exactly. won't wake anyone up. It's insane. You know? And no, guys, we're not looking at the World War II bird we are looking at a commercial airliner yeah. with that shark on the front jerry absolutely incredible yeah i mean uh nice hand nice, painted nice you know, airbrushed the, uh, airbrushed that, that guy's getting his head bitten off by the shark right now yeah <laughs> no no I won't. um but I think look at the flight deck man yeah. look at the cockpit yeah 75 percent of that aircraft is new johnny that's just such an impressive feat of engineering from the guys yeah. at Embraer. but the great thing is that in doing so they have also managed to keep the production line um, completely open for both the Mark 1 and Mark 2 series. So the E-19, E-1, E-2 can be manufactured alongside each other. So I'll keep myself in position here so that we wouldn't get anybody else to, uh, yeah. <laughs> because then we'd be screwed. So this is the Dornier that I think we see sometimes at Manchester. Is it really? Operating commercially though. So uh, Gareth, Sunset Shepherd, guess what he's doing? Giving us all the regs. Presenter Behera is watching. Good day to you, Presenter. Anne Dickinson, Ladia Vialiola. Good day to you, Mark Floyd. Wendy Van der in the house, Jay Lee, Debbie Tanner. So I think he'll be doing, an, perhaps doing another, uh, another circuit maybe. Yeah. Leslie Roberts, thank you very much for sharing. We really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, Benny Bergstrom giving us the link to the Stay Live player. You want to go and watch this in full HD, guys, then uh, just head to the Stay Live player. Just go to bigjet.tv and hit the link for Stay Live uh, for, for the Elite player. Foy, Foy Woodland's in the house. Good day, Foy. Foy. Harmic Fuscanian. Uh, this aircraft here, Gareth Sunset, Shepard saying uh, Dornier 328 roll airliner, national origin, Germany, manufacturer Dornier, Fairchild Dornier. First flight 6th of December 1991, introduction 1993. It's not that old actually, no, really, no. you know, um, in, in terms of production. Primary users Logan Air and Air Alps. 
Logan Air. Sun Air of Scandinavia. There we go. And you know who flies the the, uh, the Dawn Air for Logan Air? The young lady who gave us a wave. There we go. Yes, yes. Never forget. Her. Never remember. That was her the name. best wave with, with, with her and her mate. Her and her, her lady and, mate. Uh, yeah. yeah. Female crew. Number built 217. Unit cost uh, eight million dollars. Wow. Wow. Thanks for that, uh, GSS. Jamil Harris, good day to you. Ashim Richardson is in the house. Sheshi Green, uh, loving the livery on the Embraer E190 E2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here they come, Jay. They will be jumping out soon, on this run at least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very hard to pick it out right now. Right? Uh, uh, Jeff Anderson asking if there's any more birds here this year. Uh, I saw a Mitchell bomber landing uh, on Sunday, and that was all I saw. I saw it taxi off behind the sheds over there. I'm not sure whether it's uh, going to be making an appearance. It's not on the schedule, not for today anyway, unfortunately. Rob Shepard tuning in from Buffalo, New York. Go to you, Rob. Right above us, Jason. I'm not actually going to get it. Them jumping yep, out. Yeah, it's really a shame. But which is a shame. Well, yeah. we might do. Might do. Oh. Tommy Jobs in the house. Good day, Thomas. Andrew Gates. There they Debbie go. Tanner. So here they come now. Not something that I've ever. Uh, wanted to do myself, I have to say. But I'm sure it is a buzz beyond belief, man. Uh, Jeff Anderson asking what the ceiling height of the cloud is. Well, it's broken cloud uh, around about 5,000 feet, I think. Yeah. But then uh, there's uh, more cirrus above it. In Shaw, uh, Nish Taylor, Nish Taylor, Jason Powell, thank you very much for sharing. Please share, guys. Yorn Loshman is watching. Good day to you, Lorne. Yorn, sorry. Eric's watching from S Southern California. Good day to you, Eric. Philip Brooks, thank you very much indeed. Okay, JB, you might want to just zoom in over there just quick. You've got the oh, uh, landing point. So that's where we're going to be touching down. A smoke canister going off there. Just show where we're going to be landing. Mitchell Bright tuning in from Perth, Australia. Good day to you, Mitchell. Alex and Shara Lambu. Well, Lee Evans is saying the F-16 is flying at 1536. Well, it may be uh, programmed to be flying at 1536. Whether it will or not, I don't know. But it will definitely be, in my eyes, the star of the show. Debbie Lister, um, I'm sure that Jilly will uh, answer that question for you about uh, linking your Patreon account to the Stay Live player. Uh, if you are a Patreon, if you are an elite member, you automatically uh, are linked into the uh, Stay, play, Stay, play, Stay Live player. My, my apologies. Sam McCambridge watching from Tasmania. Good day to you, Sam. Yeah, um, Hayden Rud Rudham uh, mentioning about the um, Big Jet Radio, Radio Big Jet on the uh, next tab underneath that as well. Uh, loving that. I must say, when I got home the other night after a hard day's filming, I uh, tuned into it and it was fantastic hearing some of the old school stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Man. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So pulling down to sort of like pull the brakes on, literally, look, pull down. Yeah, nicely controlled, man. Hey, look at that. Fantastic, man. Perfect landing. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. Did you get him doing a big float and then sort of like, wee? Oh, yeah. Perfect conditions in terms of the breeze, isn't it? It's it is, not yeah. like, you know, a heavy wind, so. These guys look like parachute regiment. 
328, yes sir, sure, yes sir, yes sir. Olive, uh, welcome, tuning in from Zurich. Good day to you, Oliver. Chris Randall, just back from Riyadh, got a sort through 9,000 photos. Good luck with that. Paul Jones, uh, tuning in, hashtag Elite. If you're wondering what Elite is, guys, we're gonna be live for, or oh, we've got the Airbus, uh, sorry, the um, 787 moving JB. Bang. Yeah, neat. Okay, here we go. Jeff Anderson, no, we, we are going to be on the um, Saturday. We're going to be at London Heathrow. Oh, JB, do you want to jump on the comments? Absolutely. Rich Talk special, Santa, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. Indeed, it is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Rich Talk's going out at, I think it is 10.30. have to double check that. Uh, Harmic Moscanian, there's a, a section on the Big Jet TV website where there is some radio playing uh, over... So is, it, is it videos of Radio our? Big Jet, just go to Big Jet TV and then hit the live stream tab. Is it over and images then, of our actual shows or...? Uh, no, it's just a holding screen, with, just a holding uh, screen. With, a, with, with loops of our shows and yes, uh, Flight Radar is on there yes. and uh, Life Lake Flight Radar and also PTZ TV as well. PTZ TV So there's a there four well. panel uh, screen there where you can just sort of like use it as a holding screen or whatever you want to do perfect so when we're not live when we're not live you we are live radio, yeah. <laughs> we're always live so yeah we did we did i see richard we did see the smoke shift on the uh, uh the wind shift sorry on the smoke there not too the wind is not too bad on the ground but you can guarantee a couple of hundred feet up it will be yeah there's the sock over there she's uh it's a fair breeze, you know, it's a fair breeze. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? But certainly nothing that's gonna sort of like really affect um, flying yeah. conditions or anything like that. Unfortunately, I'd like to say a bit of yeah. <laughs> Max is moving. Uh, no, Jonathan Furlong, we are gonna be at Heathrow on Saturday, uh, filming Rich Tour takeoff, as well as all the other action. Gonna be two seven right. Okay, so. Normally he does a display, but he's actually... Well, he's, he's dropping off the Loadmaster. Oh, that's right, and yeah. then he's going to go back up and do another display. Pretty impressive landing, this Dornier. High-performance aircraft, short runway operations, easy for this. Nice! High-performance! He, what is it? Anhedral wing design. Above yes, Anhedral, here comes uh, 787. Above fuselage wing means that they can take off quicker and land sooner. Dreamliner 787, this is insane. We're not going to have it right away because we've got another couple of displays starting with that door now, but it is insane. The Dreamliner, not only is it pulling up so high, so fast after takeoff, Almost, we were discussing this yesterday, Jerry, almost 90 degrees of bank at one stage. To so get ready, it's going to be exciting. Why does that truck happen? Uh, yeah, Raphael Silva, military troops, but... Actually, hold on a minute. Why is the Dreamliner lined up? Because he's next out. So the Dornier doesn't do the solo then? Interesting. But he's dropping off the blob oh, and then he's going up and doing the solo, isn't he? After the Dreamliner. After okay. the Dreamliner. Here okay. we go. Okay, we like that. We like that. Now get ready, guys. This is going to be insane.
high performance takeoff Dreamliner 787-8. Unbelievable. And it doesn't stop there. You, you keep watching because it's going to be an incredible display. Not your standard departure out of Heathrow, is it? Adnan Khalid Mansour is from Bangladesh. His country's 787. So proud. I think just coming up now, left bank, this is where we're going to get that unbelievable bank, almost 90 degrees. Nand Kishore, this is Farnborough International Air Show in the UK. We're going to be live for about 45 minutes and then we're going to go to our elite members only. We'll discuss how to get into that after this display. Be seeing this aircraft at Heathrow in the future, I'm sure about it. Lumen's brand new 787-8. As are all, Hack, another countryman from Bimen. Very proud of you guys, very proud indeed. And here it is flying live for you guys right now. Farmer International Air Show, what a display it is. Ashley Smith in the house, how are you doing? Gear coming down now, making its extreme left bank there. Going to be coming onto finals, touching down. It's a shame about the position of that red vehicle. Sort of yeah. like, you know, could have put that vehicle anywhere. And he, could have, he could push it back. Yeah. He could push it back. Why does he have to be parked right in the photo line, man? Right at the touchdown point as well. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, we've got a operations vehicle gone and parked right in the way. Uh, so we might get a little bit of disturbance visually on this touchdown, uh, but we're going to try and make contact with that ops vehicle in just a little bit so that doesn't happen again for the rest of the display. We've also got heads. We've got heads. We've got heads. Yeah. 
Ah, we got it. We got it. We got it. Now, this is going to be a quick stop. Brakes to max. Taxi up to us. We'll get a good shot over here. There we go. Richard Kirkland, how are you doing? Well, almost a barrel roll, Mark Burrard. Almost a barrel roll. Uh, Oliver Wilcom, unfortunately, there's no E2 display today. The E2 display was yesterday. Uh, we were here with Embraer and uh, we'll be posting out on Big Jet TV soon. So there you go, Bibbins, brand new. 787-8, looking fantastic, looking so clean, and what a display that was. Beautiful aircraft, lining up now. Lining up now is the 737 MAX, about to go out. Right, JB, you ready to switch? Yep. Okay, here we go. Frank Wiss, really loving it. Needs to. We've got more heads here as well. You're going to be uh, slightly cut off. Well, this this will go out here, so it'll be all right. And he'll land somewhere. Well. So they're good. tricky one it's a tricky one so a lot of uh, composite design as per normal on these modern jets being used now uh, leap engines of course probably featuring a significant amount of 3d printed uh, componentry inside the engines composite blades new wing design it's those chevron engines as well yeah they are, I think, the thing that makes it stand out the most. And the scimitar wings. Yeah. No, he's not doing it. He's not interested. Even though it could be just bang, five meters. Oh, okay, cool. one second. That's cool. He's good. Okay. We have the sympathetic uh, Man. security <laughs> guy, which is good. Craig Parsons crazy climb out. It just go, goes to show the uh, capabilities of these aircraft, these modern jets. Oh yeah, when he went over there, Jerry, the uh, the turn. No, a massive um, oh umbrella went flying across. Oh, the did it? Road taxiway, yeah. Fair play. Probably never run so fast in his life. We love that. I would say uh, it is. Um, there's very little stress on those in, on those wings, man. Even though under normal circumstances, you know, but even in these flying conditions, relatively little stress on them. Sounds great as well, doesn't it? Yeah, she does sound good. Those leap engines, uh, also seen on the Neos as yeah. well. 
Um, the 737 Max uh, variant is the uh, the only the the Leap engine is the only engine being offered on that variant as well. So yes. you won't see any other engines on it. Oh, look at that! If you don't ask, you don't get. There you go. And look at that. But now he needs to move out of the way. <laughs> Good lad. Good lad. So a lot of people in the house now watching, 640 people watching Big Jet TV live right now. We've been live for 45 minutes, another 15 minutes guys, and we'll be cutting to our elite members. If you want to watch the whole show, as well as all our live shows, then just become an elite member. Very, very simple. See uh, those uh, controls being worked kind of overtime in, in, in a funny sort of way. Of course, this is the yoke design, uh, central yoke design of Boeing as opposed to the left and right hand controls of the Airbus. Alastair Archbold, thank you very much indeed. Sai, Sai Elv from India, watching from India. Hope you enjoyed your uh, Bangladesh Airlines, Biman Bangladesh Airlines 787 Dreamliner um, display. Harsh Vedna, Vedia, watching from Zambia. Good day to you Harsh. Jeff Hughes, afternoon, watching from Southport. So this will be a slow speed pass. I don't think so, this one. Uh, no? I don't know what's about to happen, to be honest. It'd be nice if he dropped his gear. It would be, yes. Oh, no, just a... Slow pass. Yeah, yeah, right. Daniel Charman can watch it from his workshop. Good for you, mate. <laughs> uh, Shirley Trimmer watching with a churning stomach from Ontario, Canada. Well, we were talking about this yesterday, and Johnny was wasn't uh, too keen on going up on one of these display aircraft. <laughs> I, on the other hand, would be like, turn it on, let's go loop. <laughs> 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 Fair I enough. might be complete. Fair enough. What's that? I'm just saying the uh, 351K okay. is uh, engine startup. Fantastic. Um, her beacons are lit. Lit. Yeah, and I can see a heat haze. Okay, gear down now. Lots of people watching from India. Uh, Shazad watching from Dubai, Heather watching from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Stephen Smith, thank you very much indeed. Very rare for me to get someone saying excellent commentary, <laughs> usually the other way around. Who is this numbskull? Very well played, sir, very well played. Interesting how uh, certain manufacturers are opting for composite and non-composite uh, wing design. Embraer being one of them, uh, retaining the alloy type wing design, favouring it, should we say. Uh, one of those main reasons being the uh, inspection hatches having to be reinforced if it's uh, composite design. You don't see that at Heathrow. Wow. Usually always a fast approach on the, on the 737 anyway. Oh, look at this. Oh, he saved it. Yeah. Oh, you're going to get a lot of heads, man. You're going to get a lot of heads. We got it. We got it. Nice. That was an insane landing. Oh no, you know what I've got next, didn't you? What? I've got the oh, Dornier got display, Dornier, and then you've no. got the 350. Have I really? Yeah. Oh, God. Just the way it is, yeah, mate. You'll get the A400. It's the way the old cookie crumbles, yes, me old son. Yes, it is. 
Uh, Chris Purcell watching from You've Spain. You've got the Dornier. I've got the Dornier, <laughs> man. We should have that, oh, we should have that fixed on the wall. Oh no, I've got the Dornier. Okay, go on then. I'm sure Switch it out. There you go, of, I'm sure there's lots of Dornier. Oh yes, of course, of course. Of sure, course, there's lots yeah. of Dornier yeah. lovers. It's an incredible aircraft. We all love a Dornier. And Hadrial oh. Design. I'm just going to do a little uh, yeah. zoom in on the uh, 1K. Yes. 1K. What have we got up next? Um, it is the on tip fell. It's on the it's on the dawn here. Good morning, USA. Carlene Winters. Now, yeah, guys, it's the listen. Fifty after this. Okay, watch out. I'm just gonna get down there. Guys, listen. Uh, this is your free view. Uh, ten minutes to go, and then we're gonna be here for the rest of the air show. About an hour and a half. Uh, to our elite members only. That is via the incredible and unbelievable uh, elite channel, but also stay live. This incredible um, channel that okay, we've our, got good, rotate. our good go. friend, uh, start up. our good friend Benny has made for us, and a big thanks to Jilly for helping with that as well. If you want to sign up to that, very easy. Go to www.bigjet.tv right now, so you can watch the rest of today's show. Because you only got 10 minutes left. www.bigjet.tv. Go there now and sign up for elite membership. Very, very quiet, but powerful aircraft, the Dornier. No longer in production, I don't think, Johnny. Is it really? I don't think so. I think it stopped production in 2000. I'm not sure. I might be completely wrong. So you guys have got uh, Fairchild as it's, its last... Uh, is it? I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, uh, you guys who watch our regular shows, uh, especially at Manchester, would have recognised this aircraft. As Jerry was saying earlier, Logan Air flying them out of Manchester. Uh, they're impressive aircraft, Jerry. Very, very quick to get off the ground. Very, very quick to stop once it's back on the ground. Stoll, I think they call them, Johnny. Short takeoff and landing. Yes, indeed. Absolutely right. Gareth Sunset Shepherd, Dornier solo display right now. Should see some special things from this. Kevin Phillips, how are you doing? Antonio Ham, insane. 700 watching live. Welcome, Farnborough International Air Show on Big Jet TV. Putting on a show. What's he going to do? What's he going to do, Jerry? Oh. <laughs> Fly past. And then you remember it's a dawning, eh? Operating 24 hours, 7 days a week on Operations Rescue. A bit like us. Yep. <laughs> That's a pretty safe shot. That's pretty nice. Pretty decent bank there on that aircraft. It's a nice turning circle. 60, 70 degrees of bank there. David Villanueva watching from Puerto Rico, how are you? Carl DJ Glenn Salgado, hi from Belize. Lawrence Bolones from Winnipeg. So guys, if you become an elite member today, you're going to get access to Stay Live, the incredible new live player built for Big Jet TV by the man, Betty himself, and of course with help from everyone, but most of all from Jilly Press, we're two amazing people doing an amazing job. Now, if you want to get access to that, you've just got to go to bigjet.tv right now. Type into your URL webpage, www.bigjet.tv, and that will get you to our website, and all you do is click on uh, the membership tab, and you can become a member, an elite member, very, very quick. Again, a massive shout out to Jilly Presswood, Prestwood? Jilly Prestwood for um, uh, facilitating that. If you become an elite member today, you'll get to watch the rest of the air show and of course the full shows every Wednesday and every Saturday from all over the UK. So it's definitely worth it. But if you're on the fence about it, don't worry, there's no contracts. All you have to do is just sign up and you can even remove your pledge at the end of the month if you're not satisfied with what you got, but I can guarantee you, you will be. Just go check out our testimonials. Uh, Tapai one Tanabe asking when will the ANA MRJ fly? Sunset Shepherd says it will be at 15.12, so 10 past 3. Again, only Elite members are going to get to see that. 
come out to about five minutes left until the end of free view. Can you Big go with you? Shout out to everyone at uh, Airliner World as well, JV. Of course, of course. Uh, we'll be announcing something special soon about that, but a big shout out to Airliner World uh, for all they do. And uh, everyone watching on Airliner World right now, if you're watching on Airliner World's Facebook page, welcome. This is Big Jet TV and Airliner World bringing you from Air Show 2018. But if and all the crew from Gravity London. All the crew from Gravity London and all the team from Embraer as well. Massive shout out to you guys. Anyone watching from Gravity, thanks so much. And, uh, I know Dave Lethbridge will be. Dave Lethbridge, if you're watching, Dave. The legend. <laughs> The Lethbridge legend. So one last uh, fly past here. Okay, Christopher Clark saying sound keeps cutting out and stay live. Uh, I don't know if we can have a little look into that. Dornier 328 is a turbo prop powered commuter airliner initially produced by Dornier Lufthart. The firm was acquired in 96 by Fairchild Aircraft. There you go, Jerry. Probably got something like Pratt & Whitney's powering it. About 640 shaft horsepower. Yeah. Now, you'll see this aircraft, if you live in London, you'll see this aircraft flying into London City, but not with the props on the side. You'll see it with jet engines on the side of the aircraft. So this aircraft also retrofitted with jet engines. Uh, yeah, there's one at Manchester as well, BA run it. There is, yeah, seen. exactly, BA City fly. And also into London City, you'll see it a lot into London City. We've got uh, Akhil Bukhari watching from Sheffield. Surely they would have had to have reinforced the wings, man. Well, with jet power as opposed to I mean, turbo prop, you know. When you look at the two, there's very little, but you're right, probably a bit of reinforcement. Probably the pylons, yep. thicker pylons and yes, exactly. reinforcement here and there. Jeff Anderson saying he thinks this is the same company that made the flying pencil. Oh. The D017 during World War II. Interesting. So you know what? I think, Jerry, that the A350-1000 display is going to be exclusive to our Elite members. Okay, because well... Even though this is coming to land, we've only got... Jilly, get ready to come. Three minutes left of Freeview. So guys, if you're watching right now Freeview and you are not an Elite member, I'm afraid to say you're going to miss out on the 350-1000 uh, display, which is about to happen. I think he's even about to push forward yet. Landing lights, uh, taxi lights are on. So guys, if you want to watch A350-1000 display, as well as all the other displays uh, later today, you've got to become an elite member right now because we're about to cut you off. We've given you an hour, that's 45 minutes more than normal. Oh, nice, impressive, right? You've got the 350 taxi in position, Johnny. Okie dokie. So that's it. Okay, for guys, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you're a free view, then uh, head over to the Elite channel now, bigjet.tv, and just uh, forward slash elite. We'll see you in there. If you become a new Elite member, come and take a look. This is going to be insane. Oh, so many people saying it's a shame they're going to miss the 1,000. Well, you, you, don't can, have to. You, can, you can see it if you want to see it. This is such an impressive display, mate. But I have to say, the uh, Hercules is sort of like, you know... Oh, if you, if you miss the 1,000, don't worry about it. There's so much more to come. But you've got to become an elite member to see it. So now I need to... Uh,
matter where we are, mate. If we were down there, we'd have people at, at, on the takeoff as well. It's just. You need to be in that corner where the No, no, because if we did that, then we'd have people all lined up in front of us here, and the, and the takeoff would be just the same. So, whichever way you do it, you're just going to have people in front of you. You've got to be on a gantry, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. got to be above the heads. We're lucky to be here. Now, look at this. This, this Jay, dramatic. It's falling, it's literally falling out of the sky, yeah? That's what you call control, man. Insane. You're absolutely right, that is what you call control. Just feathering it down. Composite wing, composite fuselage, XWBs. Does he need to be right there? 